What's up everyone, it's Mr Marvel here and I'm going to be looking at some of the user scores on Metacritic for The Last of Us Part 2. It is a train wreck. It's re <laughs> I've never seen anything like it really. Um, yeah, let's, let's get straight into it. Okay, so first one is from Hect72. This, this should be good. Uh, this game is trash. Really, what is the point in Joel dying and in the end you do not get your revenge? Good point. What is the point to kill all those people on the journey to end the game such as Shitfest, I'm guessing they're saying? Burn Hell Cuckman. I mean, yeah. Basically sums the game up, didn't it? Zero. Nothing about the gameplay, nothing about the soundtrack, the sound design, the level design, I mean... <laughs> Oh man, there's so many zeros like this, like, no game really is a zero, is it? Let's be honest, no game's a zero, but hey, he obviously doesn't like it, Hex72, and he's given his opinion, there you go. Okay, so next up we have a 10 from Nathanos115. The game is not as bad as it seems. Sure, the story could have been a bit better, but it wasn't overall that bad. I enjoyed the game a lot, and I'm hoping for more story DLC, maybe even a return to multiplayer. Overall, I think the game is a 10 out of 10. How is that a 10? How is that a 10 for a story-driven game? Sure, the story could have been a bit better, but it wasn't overall that bad. How is that a 10? Like, I know you don't have to give like, paragraphs and paragraphs explaining, but come on man, he hasn't, he hasn't mentioned anything. The story could have been a bit better. Wow. <laughs> See, this is the thing. It's not just the zeros, it's the tens that you've got to watch out for. Yeah. Anyway, on to the next one. Right, just to let you know, I only spent about five minutes looking for these. Like, I just picked a random few that sort of caught my eye. And, um, yeah, look at this. Just. <laughs> wow. False, 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 false. Like, how are people allowed to make these reviews? How? Like, I'm sure some will get deleted, but like a zero, false, 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 false. What's false? At least tell us what you think is false. I mean, I mean, come on. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So yeah, really insightful stuff by SR Parker there. Uh, on to the next one. Um, this is from CHJJ, who gives it a 10 out of 10. Must be amazing then. So, the game resonated with me. Even though I think it could have been better, I think it's really good and worth playing. Even though I think it could have been better. Again, how is that a 10? How is that a 10 out of 10? You, you know it can be better, but here's a 10 out of 10. Like, what? What is going through people's minds? I know it, this don't really matter, it's just harmless user reviews, but like, it could have been better. This person's admitting it could have been better, but here's a 10 out of 10. This is what, this is what drives me mad, but at the same time, at the same time it's funny. It is funny. But like I say, it goes both ways. It goes both ways. <laughs> Okay, so we have another 10 out of 10 here by Fitchago. It's a spoiler one, so uh, yeah, beware. The fact that players cannot deal with their own hypocrisy while playing and understanding the anti-hero story is simply outstanding. Also, players that are filled with prejudice cannot stand a gay character, no matter the circumstances. For those, all I can suggest is quit gaming and start therapy. <laughs> Well, I have to admit, there are there are definitely some people who don't like to see, you know, gay people as the lead character or the main the main character in games, films, TV shows. There is some people, that, but that's a very small percentage. I think there are a lot of people just annoyed with the story and the way it pans out and the timing of it. They're, like they would have been, they would have accepted. A lot of people would have accepted Joel dying but not in that way and not that early. I think that's more where the hate is, where the criticism is, I would say. 
Okay, so here's another zero by Stanislav 1994, and he says, trash, 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 trash. I mean, come on. Come on. And we know our oldest person is. He's about, he would be about 26, wouldn't he? Because he's, yeah, his tag's 94, so he'd be around 26. And that's what he puts as his review. He gives it zero. He says, trash, trash, trash. But there's legitimate, legitimate reasons why this game could be a low score. Just give them. I know that's too much to ask for some people, but yeah, come on, man. <laughs> trash, 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 trash. Come on, come on, mate. Okay, so I've got to cover one that's at least like a sort of a middle range score. And we have a five here by Honest Human 777 Casual review. I didn't play the first one, I played the first two hours and got kind of bored. Looks great from a technical standpoint, but not for me in terms of the boring gameplay loop and boring from what I've played. I should have saved a 60 for Ghost of Tsushima. This is kind of a fair score, I would say. Um, interesting that he thought the gameplay loop was boring, um, because that's one of the things that people are praising, although a lot of people are also saying they're stuck in 2013. So yeah, it's, it's not a bad review to be honest, like for a short one. But yeah, again it's the story. He's giving it a 5, not just because of the story actually, but because of the gameplay. So that's an interesting one I think. Okay, we have another 10 here by In Bong. Game is different to movie and don't have to be movie. But game can surpass the limits of movie. In this regard, this game opened another world. Wow. It opened a different dimension, it seems, this game. <laughs> what does he mean, this game opened another world? What does that mean? Am I being dumb here? What does that mean, the game opened another world? <laughs> okay. But how, how is it, again, how is that a 10? How is that a 10? Like he's talking about movies and opening different worlds, and it's a 10. Nothing about the gameplay, nothing about the world design, the characters, the story. And it's a 10. The game opens another world, so here's a 10 out of 10. That's, that's basically it. Blimey, what's next? Um, we have a zero here from DemonZ. There is a lot of woke trash in the game, a lot of gender and identity politics. The game isn't about telling the story of Ellie, it's about pushing an agenda to you. 0 out of 10 wouldn't touch it with a stick. He goes in hard. He goes in hard. But again, like people who are giving zeros and tens just don't give legitimate reasons, like it seems. Well, a fair few of them, certainly some of the ones I've seen. I mean, <laughs> zero. But again, he's, he is talking about the sort of the identity politics, and yeah, I, I do kind of agree with that. But it, I wouldn't say that's the worst thing about the game. Like, the way they tell the stories, and the writing. But <laughs> he wouldn't touch it with a stick, gives it a zero. But I wonder how many zeros there actually are. <laughs> it's a bit mental really, but hey, um, that's what people think. Okay, last one, because um, I'm done with it. <laughs> so, um, this is another zero by a summer random and he says, or she, or he or she, says, So this is where we are in video games. Gratuitous sex scenes for no literal reason. This game has a flat story with no worthwhile characters or character development for that matter. This game just takes a streaming dump on the first game story. And world building. Anyone who writes this torture porn garbage, a 10 is sick in their head. <laughs> Oh my god, sick in the head. Torture porn. Gratuitous sex scenes. Wow. He gives it a zero. Probably just because of the sex scene, to be honest. Like, I reckon that's the bit that tipped him over the edge. Oh, mate. These reviews, man. <laughs> I know I've obviously selected these certain reviews for this video, but I was only looking for a few minutes and this is what come up. I mean, come on. A everything from the zeros to the tens, like, there's no, no reason behind a lot of these reviews. 
and review bombing does go both ways let's not forget that there's a lot more zeros a lot more low scores but that's because so many people are outraged so yeah like i said it goes both ways uh, but i do think metacritic should um, enforce some sort of system where you connect your PSN name, gamertag or whatever to your Metacritic account and you've got to play a certain amount of the game, let's say at least like 20-30% because then that way like, you know people have played the game. And yeah that's all I've got to say about it. I hope you um, enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and see you soon.